I am Mr. Rish and I am welcoming you to this video. Thank you for joining me. Looking here at a volume calculation for a cap of a sphere. As you can see, we have a complete sphere but the top portion has been shaded away. The entire solid top portion is shaded and that represents a cap of the sphere. The volume has to be determined. This is not my question provided to me by a viewer. They wanted to see how you could go about doing that volume determination. Please note that this video here is for educational purposes only as a student had a problem and I'm helping them out by guiding them through this question. Everything will be here with regards to a volume determination of a specific area integrating from a lower limit to an upper limit. Since it's a sphere, it can easily roll around. Even if you're looking up, you don't have to do integral dy. You could be looking up and still do dx because we're talking about a sphere. You could easily reorient it horizontally if you wanted. You have a certain radius r. The cap is demonstrated to be generated h units down. So this entire height is h. From h units down going upwards, you're generating and starting that cap. If in all dimensions as a sphere would be or in all directions always having a radius r, then this intermediate distance must be r minus h. We need to know that because it will represent the start of where the cap is. Where did the cap start? It started r minus h units away from the center. Where did the cap end? It went all the way up to r units away from that center. Those will be our limits. We have to determine what the cross-sectional slices are because they are being integrated in terms of their area from this point upwards. In all instances, you can always think x squared plus y squared equals r squared and then y is equal to square root r squared minus x squared. This would be representing the radius of each cross-sectional slice. Then you do area is equal to pi r squared and it would become r squared minus x squared because the square will eliminate the radical. This represents each of the cross-sectional slices integrating from a certain limit. What is that limit? r minus h going as high as r. You have a pi sitting outside and r squared minus x squared represents the integrand. You just have to integrate it and you'll have your answer, the volume of this cap. You have a pi r squared x minus x cubed over 3 r and r minus h. There will be a little bit of algebra involved simply because we have now these type of values. Pi and then we have r squared into r minus r minus h. Upper limit minus lower limit minus r cubed minus, now the lower limit, r minus h cubed over 3. What are we doing here? We're putting the upper and the lower limits in places of x. But we're getting these expressions since we're dealing here with variables in terms of our limits. Pi r square r minus r plus h minus, open this up, you'll have r cubed minus r cubed minus 3 r squared h plus 3 r h squared minus h cubed all over 3, close it up. This cancels out, this cancels out, open it up, you'll have an r squared h, but this is over a 1, you can multiply the 3. And then you can bring the 3 out as a common denominator, pi over 3, the 3 will impact here, you'll have a 3 r squared h. Now you want to open up all of that by means of the impact of the negative. I have an r cubed minus r cubed, that's cancelling out so that'll go away. But I'll have a minus minus which will be impacted with this minus, it'll become minus 3r squared h. I have this minus and this positive, it'll stay a minus, but by means of this negative, it'll become a positive 3r h squared. And lastly, this minus and that minus h cube are a positive h cube, and it'll become a minus h cube again. What cancels out from here? 3r squared h minus 3r squared h, the only thing which remains are these two items and the coefficient here. The volume of that cap would be pi over 3, you have a 3r h square minus h cube isolate an h square and what remains a 3r minus h that would be the volume of this cap and our question has been solved you can re-represent it in a different way by pushing the 3 in you'll have a pi h square 3r divided by 3 is just an r minus h over 3 it's an equally good expression each of these are equally good if someone were to ask you based on this representation for a sphere with a radius r and a cap was demonstrated to be h units away from the top of that sphere and then down, all of this cross-sectional slices adding up to give a volume of this cap, what would that volume be? It would be either of these, pi over 3 h squared times 3 r minus h or pi h squared times r minus h over 3 and those results will be right. Thank you for watching.